I hate this show. I hate The Flash so much. And it hurts. It pains me to say this. If you're wondering, why do you still watch this show? Why do you put yourself through some of the worst television of all time? It's simple. I used to love this show. The first two seasons of The Flash, I think, are some of the best superhero television that I've ever seen. The first two seasons made me fall in love with the show, made me fall in love with some of the characters, and then it dropped hard. And at this point, the show has sucked longer than it was ever good, but I'm still chasing the dream. I'm still thinking that someday, one day, it might get good again. Let's start with some of the most random shit ever. Ronnie is back. Ronnie was Firestarter in the first season. He was Caitlyn's husband. He sacrificed himself in order for the group to be alive in one of the finales or whatever the hell it happened. And we see that he's back. They even got Robbie Amell to come back and play this goddamn character, only to find out that even though he had killed a bunch of characters, right? He burned so many characters alive and the group decided to be okay with it. Oh, it's okay that you killed three or four people. It's fine because you weren't yourself and you didn't mean to. Only to find out that it wasn't really Ronnie. It was this character Deathstorm, I guess. And Deathstorm was just using the image of Ronnie to trick Caitlyn and to trick the group. Oh, wow, it worked because everybody is so, so dumb. And oh, yeah, Killer Frost died. If anyone gave a shit, Killer Frost is a character that I was just fine with. I was okay with. They treated her death like a huge deal. They gave her a whole episode of her funeral and granted it made sense to do that much for her character because she was a part of the team but it wasn't like Danielle Panabaker was leaving the show it wasn't like this is the last that we would see of that actress so this felt kind of moot it felt like it wasn't as sad of a deal that they try to make it out to be Caitlin went through this whole period of feeling very depressed uh, she kept calling Frost her sister, which I always thought was weird because they're not sisters. They're not. Frost was a personality sort of deep down inside of her that was somehow able to create a new body. You didn't grow up with Frost as a sister. It, it just stop calling her your sister. She's not. She's not even a real person. But okay, so she wants to do experiments to try to see if she could bring her back, recreate another body to bring her back. And when Barry finds out about this, Barry kind of breaks into her apartment, sees all of the experiments and the equipment and everything that she has, and just destroys everything. He barely talks to Caitlin about what she's doing doesn't really even get her point of view and her side on it. He just says, I'm sorry, you can't do this. Destroy! <laughs> and he destroys everything. And then he just leaves the apartment and leaves that mess for her to clean up herself. Like, go ahead, clean it up. I mean, I kind of felt bad for Caitlyn, even though what she was doing was dumb. This whole season, we've been seeing Iris having this time sickness which is dumb. It is. It's dumb. It felt like they were just reaching and stretching to find something for her to do. I know that the actress that plays Iris has been wanting to leave the show for the longest time. And so maybe the writers had to come up with something to make sense for why she's working a reduced schedule, why she's not around as much as she normally would be. But come on, you had to think of something better than this. You had to think of something that at least made more sense than this. Instead of having all of these dumb moments, all of these awkward scenes, this whole season-long uh, plot. 
of Iris disappearing constantly, winding up in other timelines, her touching other people and infecting them or making them disappear. And it's just like, this was a big, dumb waste of time. It really was. And her and seeing that her time sickness, I guess, infected the other time lords or time guardians or whatever the hell those characters were that we set up, right? Dion and that one character that turns into the horrible CGI monster and the one character who looks like Barry's mom for some reason, the Speed Force. Like, we we turn them all into negative forces or, or maybe the negative forces were just created and they just look like them for some reason. I don't know, it was confusing because it was the same actors that played the other good versions of them, but then they were the negative forces of them who somehow take credit for creating Reverse Flash. This is too goddamn convoluted. This is too damn confusing. What the actual fuck? We had a, a years-long uh, plot wrapped up, I guess, of John Diggle, who previously had gotten the Green Lantern ring in the Crisis on Infinite Earths uh, plotline. And I guess he's been showing up on other shows like Superman and Lois and Batwoman. I stopped watching Batwoman, so I did not see this. But I guess he's been trying to get help on how to open this box, how to figure out what this is, only for him to randomly show up here and talk to an imprisoned Reverse Flash and he decides to just give up the ring. He says, it's not worth it. It's not who I want to be. I want to be with my family instead, which is noble. Sure, fine. You want to be a family man. That's that's great and all. But why tease this? Why set this up? Why get fans who had been theorizing for years on Arrow that Diggle would become the Black Green Lantern only to just tease it and not give it to you? That's a big F you to those fans. And to other fans who didn't really care or never really thought about it, now you put this in their heads only to take it away from them. Let's talk about Cecile, shall we? Cecile, I don't mind her as the love interest for Joe West. I don't mind her as a side character who's the moral compass of the group, who is trying to give Barry advice or just trying to help him out. That's great. That's cool. That's awesome. But to give her superpowers, I've already complained about her reading minds and just how unnecessary that was. But this season, they leveled her up. They made her even more strong and powerful. And, and she kind of goes out there to start taking down criminals for whatever reason. And she now, I guess, has telekinesis. Like, why? Why are we giving this character so much power? What's the point? Why does every character on this show have to have superpowers? Some of these episodes that are about Chester and Allegra, like the episodes that are specifically about them, are some of the worst episodes of the season. I don't blame these actors who play Chester and Allegra. I don't mind the actors at all. It's not their fault. I just think that the writing sucks. Their characters suck. Like their characters aren't as interesting as they need to be. It's no wonder why Cisco left this show. You guys can't do this. You can't have these weak and lame characters half-ass their backstories, half-ass anything that makes them or could make them interesting and dedicate a whole episode to them because they're not. They're not interesting. They're not fun to watch. They're not something that I should be tuning into to watch when I'd rather be watching characters and actors that I care about or, or want to follow. I mentioned before that Reverse Flash is back, but they had this whole deal where the original Earbot Thawne, the actor that plays him in the first season, he used Harrison Wells' face in season one because he wanted to be somebody that Barry admired, a mentor, somebody to infiltrate the compound and screw with Barry on the inside, get close to him. And it was this whole elaborate sick plot and it made sense. 
But now, at this point, it doesn't make any sense that he still looks like Harrison Wells, that he still is played by Tom Cavanaugh. It doesn't. Somebody explain to me why. Why Tom Cavanaugh still plays Reverse Flag. Especially because I originally thought that maybe they couldn't get the other actors to come back. Maybe there was a reason. Maybe scheduling. But then, that other actor came back in Legends of Tomorrow. And then they brought him back in this season to play a version of Earbot Thon who didn't have a memory of being Reverse Flash, didn't remember fighting the Flash at all. And I guess he's been in a relationship with this random scientist and they've been building a new accelerator to create the speed force again. And it made his female scientist made her a speedster because that's what the show needs is another female speedster or just another speedster in general and then the dumbest part of all iris's time sickness sort of infects the good earbothon and he rips the skin of his face off only to reveal tom cavanaugh harrison wells's reverse flash underneath him what? What the fuck? What is going on here? How does this make any sense? Well, like, seriously, somebody, anybody, the showrunners, the writers, Grant Gustin himself, can you explain to me what the fuck is going on here? Why did Harrison Wells pop out of Earbot Thon? It just, I, I, I'm lost. I really am. I'm lost. And let me not forget to mention how bad the costumes have gotten. Clearly, the budget has not been going to the superhero costumes. I swear that Reverse Flash's yellow costume looked way better in season one than it does now. This looks like some cheap, low-rent Power Ranger type shit. And even at the end where they create this black costume for him that's supposed to look cooler, just the way that it made his body look and it made him look like he wasn't in shape, it was not threatening at all. These costumes suck. And I don't even really understand what happened at the end of this where Barry just, like, I like that he was angry. I like that he wanted to kill Reverse Flash, but then he just meditated and I guess he just put himself in his happy place and Barry being in his happy place was able to undo everything that Reverse Flash did as far as the destruction in the city. Huh? <laughs> what? How powerful is Barry now? And I bet you his ability to undo all of the stuff that Reverse Flash did will never be brought up or done again next season. Fuck this show, man. This show sucks. Who cares? Who gives a shit who gives a fuck? Why should I care after some of this bullshit that you put on screen? Holy shit. Is there anybody, anybody out there, anybody alive, Anybody breathing that still enjoys The Flash show, that still defends this godforsaken show, fuck this show, man. Fuck it up its ass, sideways, however which way it wants to be fucked. I will gladly fuck this show if it means to get it off my screen, to get it off a of TV. Let me know in the comments below if you two have been still, for whatever reason, watching The Flash. If you saw this season eight finale, how much did you think it absolutely sucked balls? Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Later. Oh, yeah. Say it.